water spot spattering. This is applied to the wood before the stain is applied. It's a little bit darker than the final color of the stain. Very easy to make with some household products. Here are the materials you will need to complete this project. We use isopropyl alcohol and water as our base. Mix approximately equal parts. And then I use red, yellow, and blue food coloring because that makes a really nice dark brown color that works with most any color of stain. So I'll apply several drops of each of those until I get the final color that I'm looking for and the strength. Typically, equal parts of each. So I'm saying about 20 drops of each of the color, approximately. Give that a quick stir and it's ready to use. So I have a panel prepared, and I want to show you by taking a very simple, inexpensive brush, how you can dip it into the stain, shake off the excess, dab it once on a cloth, and using your finger as the guide, simply apply the spatter. Now what happens is with the pre-finished spatter is it accentuates the wood. When it hits the wood, it actually wicks in and it creates depth and dimension underneath the color coat. It's a very interesting technique. And again, you can see the final results after the stain is applied. You can see all the wicking marks that the water spot spatter made. It adds additional depth and dimension to your existing color finish.